most of our experience is really based with the first surge. In early December, um, I took care of a patient who with his wife had attended a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, the patient had some underlying illnesses, ended up in the ICU, on the ventilator, trached, tracheostomy, um, and I don't remember the exact dates, but um, he was probably on the ventilator for about six weeks, maybe longer. Um, he had, it took him months to recover to the point where he could go home, but he ultimately did go home. Um, his wife also attended the dinner. Um, she had virtually no symptoms um, from COVID. Uh, a little bit of fluish stuff and that was it. Um, just lasted a few days. Well, she unfortunately developed long haul COVID. Um, she experienced severe brain fog, um, severe fatigue to the point where she can barely get out of bed. Um, she had, sleeps 12 to 18 hours a day. Um, this hit home for me because she happens to be um, a nursing colleague. Um, somebody who had a very demanding job on whom a lot of people relied on. Um, and she was held in very high respect by her colleagues, physicians and nurses. Well, she's had to go on disability because she cannot function. 